Hello there, and welcome back to the Kingdom of Ireland. We are High King Arcade Mac Donegal. We have our wife here, High Queen Melusine. She is French and she's a genius, so hopefully we'll get, get some decent airs out of her. She already has a sibling. What do you mean, already has a sibling? She has a sibling, but uh, she does not have to trait. Oh well, uh, what I would like to do is invade a bit of Wales here, and we do have somebody who has claims to all of these lands. Oh, you're also that man over there. The problem is they have some strong allies. You're allied to Galicia, and she's quite strong. Have you? There's only three places here to siege. We might better get it over and done with relatively quick. And then the same guy has claims to here. You are allied to this area who's slightly weaker. So we're going to go for you first. We're just going to declare war straight onto you. Your two provinces. We're going to press Prince Dougal or Eustance. Which, which one do I want? They're both my uncles, aren't they? You, we can press Dougal and Eustance. Um, let's go with Dougal because he is currently the heir. Next, we dec declare war on you for Dougal's claims. Excellent. We're going to then raise our army all the way over. I think there's a crossing here, is it not? Pretty sure there is. We're going to raise our army over here. And we are going to uh, march on over to besiege these people. Uh, pregnancy. My wife is pregnant. Well, excellent. I've also been declared war upon this man here. The O'Neill of Moray has declared war on me for, for what? Reason? Really? Uh, occupation lands. What does he want? Element Eilek. Okay, great. He wants my capital. Well, rally the troops. I'm sure we won't be defeated by such a vile man. Let's go. Oh, it will actually be a sail over. Well, let's sail over then and deal with these people. We have a daughter. We're going to name her something I can pronounce. We're going to go with uh, Benedicta. And we also are under siege on our capital. However, there's not much I can do about it. We are about to win the siege here. I don't want to leave this war unwanted. We're going to win this war and then try to go over and deal with everything. I am having in charge of the army, so there's no chance of me being uh, taken. As my daughter, she is not a genius, but that's fine. She's not the uh, she's not a boy, so it doesn't bother us too much. We'll force demands here. Excellent. We are now going to sail back and liberate our capital, I'm sure. The forces here have managed to take my daughter prisoner, but we have superior forces. So I'm going to go over and try to defeat them. My owner is in debt, and that somehow does uh, affect me, but we're going to go and try to take these fools back. Uh, yeah, looks like we will have a uh, probably win here, so we're going to go and take it in the forest. Oh, we were only fighting someone. Well, this is uh, even better, because they are now going to have much lower numbers when we do try to fight them all together. Excellent, gets a bit of war score. Let's go and defeat the rest of his force before they're able to uh, get some extra strength together. Even, you say? Why would it be even here when we have so much more number and quality? Declaration worn out. Gwened is attacking me. Gwened. You traitor. Uh, nothing I can do here. Let's rally the troops there and let's uh, have a victory here. Glorious, we have 100%, so we'll go ahead and enforce an advance there, which will take us out of debt. However, we're still besieged in our areas. Why are we besieged? Galicia is in this war along with Gwynedd, but I'm sure we'll be able to deal with them. And once Gwynedd is weakened sufficiently, we'll be able to uh, simply go over and free siege their stuff. So we're going to split this army in half, and we're going to send them off to take back both our provinces. Did I get my daughter back? I did not. Well, I would like her back for 160 girls. That's all of it for a favour. Well, we'll just uh, let her go and be babysat over there instead. They do also have my sister in prison, and she is very beautiful. So we're going to go ahead and accept that. So I don't think I can seduce her. I can ask her to take vows. Of course, we use her to get a good knight. So we're going to matrilineal and sort by prowess. We could use a better knight around. There's a Hungarian man here who's very good at fighting. There's a uh, younger... No, he's actually older. Lowborn man there. Much younger. 34. Uh, this guy's got a couple of stats. So maybe if we went with this chair, it could be more worthwhile. There's no real young men here, so you might just go with the older chap. With the good traits and hope that we able to get something through. Match your marriage. Excellent. Hopefully there'll be some grand heirs coming of it. My brother-in-law and knights. Let's go ahead and uh, rise up this man. It's just him. No, he had some friends. Well, that's, that's all well and good. We'll go and uh, unite all of our forces here. Dangerous faction? What do you mean dangerous faction? It appears that my uncle is going for a Liberty Faction war. Now let's have a look and see exactly who's in it. Liberty Faction. There's three members. And they're all going to have quite a bit of strength. So we're going to say we have no choice here. We're going to lose a bit of prestige. Uh, but, oh well. 
autonomous vassals law. And we're going to lose a bit of realm authority there. That's a shame. Of course, we press this through before we uh, take it. Yeah, so we are right back where we uh, were. Let's get our armies together and let's go and besiege these fools. Perhaps no, they actually appear to have 3,000 people compared to my two and a few. So it might be in a little bit of a tricky situation here, but I could besiege out their capital first. Are you in your capital? He's in... No, he's with the army. Although I might be able to siege out their capital first and get a bit of a white piece. Go ahead and have a look. No, I think they're going to land frozen and broken. No, the game's not frozen and broken. Okay, well, let's just uh, let's go back and fight them. What we're going to do is a mass ransom. Try and get some money together here. Hopefully somebody's worth a bit of gold. Doesn't appear so. We could, though, hope that one of these armies leaves and fight the other one. It looks like they are stuck leaving now, so we are going to be able to get a jump on these fools here. They will reinforce, but they won't reinforce for eight days. We've got a bit of time here to do some damage. We do have a little bit of money, but I don't think we could quite afford the mercenary band here. Can we get rid of this? No, we couldn't. So we're just going to have to try our luck here. Also, what is this? You are offering me to lose money. Ah, I don't quite fancy that, I'm afraid. Let's just uh, hope that this battle here goes according to plan. We've got a few days to lower his number. Oh, we actually defeated him, bef defeated him before. It uh, was a thing. Also, available park. Let's go with uh, Taxman. We do need a bit of money at the moment. Hopefully, he will be able to destroy these guys again. Factions. Uh, can't worry about this for now. Let's just defeat these fools and hopefully have this war at an end. No, I don't think that's quite going to... It. I would like the white piece though because we are planning to invade them directly afterwards. But what we might do is uh, now sail over and take his capital. I'm sure it will go swimmingly well. We have sent for a physician and we will be hiring this man. He's renowned so hopefully he'll be able to do a good job for us and do no more than what is necessary. I lost the infected wound and I lost the trade wounded. Well, that piece of works so very well indeed. We have a son and he will be named Donegal. He is, however, not a genius. May you grow to be strong and wise, my son. Just sieging out the captain now. We have taken, it looks like, his heir prisoner. His heir indeed. Well, what if I were to negotiate your release to demand something on you? No. Could maybe ransom you. I do need the money. Ransom? No, I won't actually get any money for it. Or can I uh, white piece here? They would accept, but I'm, I'm going to seat out somewhere else. And we're going to try and get that 100%. Actually, we're going to just going to go to our capital and beat him there. Because uh, I don't want him sieging my land. Looks like he's going to run off. So we will try and chase him around. And surely defeat his forces. Not quite the 100% I wanted. But we'll, uh, we'll keep at it and hopefully get it soon. We now have the 100%. We're going to enforce the demands. Get ourselves out of debt. Release these men from their oath and then plan to attack them straight back because we do want to take their lands. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this mark here. We're going to move it over to here. We're then going to simply declare war on him because I think I don't have to wait. Prince Dugal's notice. Who did we uh, press? Oh, Petty Queen uh, has now taken this land back, but she's still sworn to me. I don't quite understand, but let's uh, go ahead and press. His claims. Eustance, Dungal. I mean, it cost me part of it. Why would it cost me this much? Uh, I can't afford the uh, prestige currently. Well, hopefully, it won't take too long to get that back. My sister can marry. She is marrying a very handsome man who can fight relatively well. Hopefully, that works out. And a good deal. This man here is paying me money. A lot of people are paying me money. I'm trying to get some money together so we can get the prestige through. Perhaps a hunt. I'm not sure. But that was a lot of gold. Let's have a look see if we can hunt. Yeah, of course we can hunt. Let's go on and get the prestige and go to war to take over the rest of Wales. What are you doing in my swamp, says uh, this foolish man here. As you ride deep into the earldom of Leinster, the ground grows wetter and the air grows heavier. Suddenly, from out of the greenery surrounding us, a giant of a man appears, hulking in layer upon layer of dirty clothing. Explain yourselves, he shouts. What are you doing in my swamp? This is, of course, a uh, Shrek meme. Uh, oof, show us around. So we can gain a local guide, a load of stewardship points. Let's talk this through. Uh, he can die. Ah, uh, well, no. Um, Madman is unreachable by logic. 
weakness, I think. Uh, let's just have him show us around. Does he exist? He's a godless adventurer. Can I not invite him to court? I want this man in court. Doesn't appear so. Anyway, we're turning for a while. Uh, do we do anything? Do we actually catch anything? Um, it, it truly delivered both the good and the bad in overabundance. Well, good. We now have a fair bit of prestige and an available perk. Let's go defensive measures, try and uh, shore up our capital there a bit, but I still need a bit of prestige. What? Who are you? Clement? What? You believe somebody else is the rightful ruler of my land? You? You believe it's her? Why do you think it's my sister and friends? Why, why do you think this? I will not be threatened. Uh, did she actually leave my court? She did. We should have tried imprisoning her before. Uh, it's a good chance that we will get it, though. Let's try and imprison our sister. We'll rally the troops as well. I'm sure she won't be terribly mad at us. She is my uh, my good friend. I'll raise all of our troops here and see what happens. Justice! We have quarter. However, that didn't put an end to it. W why? This is the war for Princess Conchin. I She's in prison, dude. I'm not about to execute my friendly sister because of this uh, this nonsense. So what else can I do? Do I have to really imprison you? They don't have that many more men than me, but still, if I could not murder you, but imprison me. I oh, yes, of course I can't imprison him. We're just going to have to go ahead and fight them, unfortunately. We're going to have more elite forces than they are, so let's get over there and fight them. Ideally before they get some reinforcements together. They are really rapid, though. It looks like we will catch them here, so let's have a bit of a... Wait, yes we are. Let's have a bit of a fight. Oh good, we didn't actually fight them all. Even better, divide and conquer the proper way to do it. Did we finally get that? Yes we did. Let's get your fabricated claim over here. That's a nice bit of land that I would appreciate having later on. Next up, you. Please come here and get yourself spanked, boy -o. We also need a chancellor who will assign uh, Prince Eustace and a steward will assign uh, Prince Dungal. Good man. Excellent. These fools will not stand a chance. Excellent. Let's uh, try and chase these fools down and perhaps siege out his capital. I'm not sure if that's exactly what we want to do. Yeah, let's siege out his capital. It won't take too long and it might win us the war, but I am not terribly sure. We'll soon find out. Is it a go? It is basically a go. Can I just enforce it? No. We're going to have to go and kick the rasses once more. This battle is a lot less uh, swimming, though. So let's actually not. Let's go and uh, see if it will tick up to 100. Maybe not. Maybe it won't tick up to 100. That's a shame. I was hoping it would. I have another son, and he is not a genius. We'll name him uh, Jesus, of course. Why would you not name him Jesus? Uh, it's the most perfect name for a boy. 82. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to... Uh, let's go and re this. I doubt they'll be able to take that back, especially when they are fighting each other in such a way. We'll siege this back, and then we will have the 100% we are so after. Waterclide again? What do you want, Strathclyde? Get out of here. Strathclyde is fighting me for what? Ulster. What a fool. We do now have 100% here, so we're going to go ahead and enforce these demands. We then will release our sister, because she's, well, Grace. Let's just simply negotiate her release, have her renounce her claim. She'll lose a bit of opinion of me, but it's fine. We'll also remove her. I want her back in my course. Yeah, watch your step. She no longer has any claims, so that's well and good. These guys are quite strong, though, so we're going to rally the, most, uh, the rest of our troops here and probably have to get some mercenaries. I uh, would, though, prefer to actually disband everyone. Let's disband everyone. Let's go to you. Are you still allied to... Oh, jeez, you are. That's a shame. I do want that bit of land. I really do. We could still declare it for Prince Euston or Dugal. Let's declare it for Dugal. Let's uh, let's take a bit, of a bit of a risk here. Raise all of our troops. And spend as much money as we can on mercenaries for the next few years. There is the Mardan's company. Quite strong. And then there is the... Uh, nobody else, in fact. That's actually all we can get. Well, let's uh, raise everyone here. Two months left, you say? Whoa, this is madness. Whoa, that's so much time. My god. 
All right, so well, we do have a good bit of force here. Let's go ahead and try to fight some of these fools while they are stuck around here, all spread out and such. Hopefully it doesn't go terribly wrong. I think it might. No, it looks like we're actually going to beat the superior-sized army here. Oh, excellent. We didn't capture anyone, though, that we would have wanted to capture. But let's hope that my capital can hold while we go and try to siege these lands over here. Hopefully it will go, uh, go the way we want it to. And that these fools here just uh, don't get to stay in the war for very long. If we 100% take all of their lands, then they won't be able to uh, do anything about it. No, to my dedication, you say. We now have the option to white peace if we did so wish, but I do want all of his lands. Let's go straight over here and try to take them out. We'll lose 100 men, but it's a price I am willing to pay. Oh, I am in one of these armies, am I not? I am good, because I don't want to accidentally get captured over there. I took uh, his son hostage in the siege, which is great. Are they actually going to try and fight us over here? Looks like they are. Let's disband, uh, not disband, let's leave that siege behind and try to fight off these fools. Looks like it will go all according to plan, which is great. It's a shame that they attacked us on the one that we were not closer to winning, though. But let's try and uh, get this siege. Another 100 people, of course, die. Nice star perk. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go with golden obligations. We have defeated the Welsh. The Welsh lands now belong to us. How? Oh, we also took a bit of land over here. However, these fools are running rampant within my country, so we're going to try and uh, deal with that. We've got to sail over first and rally our men together for it. Hopefully then we'll be able to destroy some of their armies and not struggle. An extra daughter, well, we'll take whatever name that was and roll with it. Let's raise whomever's new here. And let's go and try and fight off some of their forces. We'll go with the main army first. They also do have lesser quality than us. They should hopefully uh, see us win a lot of war score back. No, ba barely any. Oh, too bad. We'll just keep at it. We can go for another legacy. We're going to go for chance reinforcing congenital traits plus 30%. Hopefully that will help us out a lot. We're in another bit of a battle here, but it appears to be going according to plan. We are sending these fools packing. Anyway, you say a twist of fate. Looks like Prince Doongal the Greedy has died. My heir. So we're going to have to try and elect someone else. And let's have a look at the empty cancellation of steward there. Oh, nice was we did. And we have won the battle. Let's go ahead and uh, nominate a success. Now, I'm probably going to vote for one of my sons. That is the way I like to do it. Where would he be? Where is my boy? He doesn't have to be an adult, does he? No, he's five years old, Prince Dungal here. Can I, can I not find Prince Donegal? Where, where is he? Where is Prince Donegal? There's my daughter. There he is. We're going to be nominating Prince Donegal. Good man. Excellent. We're just going to try and get back these sieges here and uh, have the war squad go up that way. That should do the trick. Mercenary, mercenary company contract will be expiring soon. I'm not such a fan of that because we are a little bit low on numbers here. That will be half of our army. But... Hopefully we can uh, survive without them. I don't know if we have enough people to ransom back to repay them. We might do. Let's try and mass ransom, see exactly what we can get. Ah, looks like we might just be able to afford... Let's go down to mercenaries. My armies? These guys, yeah. Can I extend? Yes, I can. Good. It's a shame to have paid so much money for it, but oh well. I have gone through with a white piece, and hopefully that will now bring us some, well, peace to the realm. Lots of ransoms here. Who are you you're offering me? Oh, they're offering to pay me money. I do have a lot of people here. Let's go ahead and try and get some of this money back. A lot of them are the uh, rebels who rebelled earlier, but still I would like the money first and foremost. So let's try and uh, get some of these guys out of jail. Looks like we actually did get most of them out of jail. Oh. And if you want to be nice, he could be a nice. Not so much him, but yeah, he's a Catholic. Let's see if we can get him to be a knight for our cause. Good man. Farewell. What do you want? Pay me 50 gold? I oh, accept. Let's have a look at our knights, though, as well. Why don't we? Nine of them. They are pretty good. A lot of them are pretty good. Actually, let's not uh, forbid people anymore. Let's allow them all to go on to the front line. 
Anyway, that'll do for this episode. It's gone relatively well. We've conquered Wales and we have kept away many, many attackers. Not all of Wales, of course. There is still the other side here, but we don't... Oh, wait, do we? We do actually have a claim there. Oh, interesting. We might go through that later on, but thank you for watching this episode. I'll see you guys next time. Hope you are enjoying the content. Goodbye.